Hi y'all! Today we are going to look at how to use the Good Budget app. So this is what the Good Budget homepage looks like on the desktop. Step one is to add your envelopes to the account. And you will do so by selecting add slash edit right here. On the next page, you will see that you have a few options of how you can set up your envelopes. You can set them up monthly, semi-monthly, weekly, or by every two weeks. We budget monthly, and so we're going to select the monthly button. You can also change when you would like your envelopes to start on. The first is fine for us. To add an envelope, you will select the Add button right here and start going at it. Alright, so once you have all of your envelopes set up, you can add up to 10 in this area. And I believe you have 10 more envelopes, which are goal envelopes, but we don't utilize those, so we won't be talking about that today. Next, you will look at the right-hand corner of your screen. You will see that we have a total of $1,025 for the envelopes that we track. Looks good, so click. <laughs> it looks good, so we'll select Save. So that takes us back to the home page, and you will see that our envelopes are here, but they are empty. So that means that we need to fill them. To fill your envelopes, you will go to Fill Envelopes at the top left-hand corner of your screen. I'm sure there is a way that they would like us to do it, but we do the quick and easy way. And to do that, you'll go here to choose a quick fill, click that drop down, select Add All, and it fills all of your envelopes for you, just like this. So you'll see over here on the right hand that we need to remove this overage. And so to do that, we just take that number, put it over here in amount. We can say income. And then it says, great job, Pin every penny accounted for. And you will select save. Yay, so now all of our envelopes are filled. Now let's look at how to add transactions on the desktop. You will go up here, select Add Transaction. Let's say that I was at Costco and of course you can go back in. They have this calendar function. You can do it for whatever day. But let's just say that I went to Costco. I spent $100 because you can't spend less than $100. <laughs> and I spent it in groceries. You can add notes if you would like. Once everything looks good, just click Save. And that's it. And so you'll see here that it deducted that $100. And since it's at the beginning of the month, um, it's letting me know that pacing wise I'm behind $40 and that maybe I should stop spending for four days so that's good for me because I probably go to Costco once a week all right so this concludes the desktop version so now let's look at the phone to add a transaction you will click the plus sign put in who you paid <laughs> your amount Select your envelope. We're going to do home expenses. And then you can write a note. I don't know why I chose sheets. <laughs> and then you'll click the check mark at the top. Now let's say that we want to split transactions. You'll add another transaction like before. Put in the amount. And then here you'll select split into multiple envelopes you'll select the envelopes in which you would like the split put in the amount for the first envelope and then it will automatically update for the second one and then you'll click the check mark and you're done 
Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to fill envelopes on the phone. So you're going to go up here to this envelope with the arrow. And then you'll put where the income came from. I just always put income. Then you have to fill each and every envelope. So that's like the sucky part. And so you'll just go down here and like say add budget amount, add budget amount. <laughs> and you get the point. And um, DJ said that you don't have to like put in the amount, but you can remove the overage if you like. And that's it. So thank you everyone for watching this video. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.